Good morning everybody, here we are in West Yellowstone, which is a town in Montana, just west of Yellowstone National Park. We stayed here last night. We had a great time, we went to the rodeo, we had a grilled dinner, and played uh, putt-putt, <laughs> miniature golf. So you have to check out yesterday's video if you didn't see it. Today we are headed back down the street that way. If you go that way, about four miles, you're gonna hit Yellowstone National Park. So we're gonna spend our last day in Yellowstone and then move on down the road probably to the Grand Tetons and hopefully to Rocky Mountain National Park. So stay tuned. I think Ryan's awake. The cool thing about being in an RV is you can wake up and sort of drive your house away while the kids are still sleeping. Good morning, Ryan. How are you, lover boy? Good. I found Ryan waking up and reading. Daddy O and I stopped at a bakery this morning. Look what we bought. This is crazy. I don't know if I'll, you'll be able to get the enormity of what we just purchased, but we have the biggest bear claw in the world. This is a bear claw. Oh, yeah. How big that is. Uh, well, no, we're going to split them because they're so huge. And look at this cinnamon bun compared to my hand. But who do you think about that, Ryan? <laughs> so I thought that would be enough for our family to split that and the huge bear claw. At least this morning, and then we have some other food we can use too. Alright. And good morning. Katie wakes up and Brennan wakes up. Good morning. It's time to eat our pastries. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Right. That's the whole thing. Like <laughs> so we're back in the Yellowstone today, you guys. We are on the hunt for animals. Hello animals! Come say good morning to us. There you go. Time to eat your breakfast. How do you call them bison? <laughs> Bison. Thank you. We decided Daddy says bison wrong. He says it like bison with a Z. I'm not quite sure. Oh, oh, those are geese. Never mind. Hi, geese. And just for those of you who are wondering, I know this is a little bit off topic, but we have not been pooping in the RV. Oh. For those of you who know what that means, you can comment down below, but no pooping in the RV. Dad wins. I am. <gasps> you did? Did yeah. Dad know that? Yes, did. Like, we were parked outside of the grocery store, and then I'm like, Katie, just go to the grocery store. And she's like, no. Did you know that, Mike? Katie pooped in the RV. I think that's what we're gonna title this video. Katie pooped in the RV. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh, this is beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, so we are approaching a place in Yellowstone called the Fire Hole, and literally there are hot springs and geysers and mud pots and just smoke coming up everywhere. From the geysers. From the geysers. It is so cool. Steam. 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 Poor Brendan is still sore from the workout that he and Katie did the other day. All right, we're gonna go. We're in an area called the Fire Hole. What doesn't play? Calf raises. calf raises don't play. That's right. You guys did a hundred of them. Three hundred. Three hundred calf raises. Yowza! All right, we are embarking on. I wish I was a tour guide because I could. Right. Well, this is vacation. Then you get back at it. I need a massage. A massage? Yeah. Okay. We'll see if we can. I think Ryan was giving you a massage earlier. Not really? No. Yes, I was. What? Where? 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 All right, you guys, we are gonna go visit whatever this is. <laughs> this is called the fire hole. Here we go. Unstable ground, boiling water. <laughs> Unstable ground, boiling water. Stay on designated trail, slippery when wet or dry. Do you hear that, Mike? Stay on the designated trail. Do not step off. Stay on the designated trail. Do not step off. Why does he have to bother me so? It does sound like a helicopter, Mike. It is. Look, it's a helicopter. Your ears do not tease you. Thin crust and scalding water. Fountain paint pots, that's what this is called. Thin crust and scalding water is illegal to leave work. Okay, so we've come upon, what's it called? Clepsydra, Clepsydra geyser. That is so cool. It's just constantly, I guess, going off. It looks like a pool. A pool? Yeah, a pool next to it. That is so cool. Look at how big this is so you guys can see the cars in the background. So just to get an idea how vast this area is right here. We are pretty darn close to this geyser. Can you just hear a shop? No, I think that one consistently goes. Well, if it's a geyser, then it can't. Is that right? Well, what's the definition of a geyser and why it's different from hot springs? Well, the geyser shoots up, hot springs just bubbles. It, I think I read that somewhere yeah. recently, well, right? Hot springs bubble up high. But they won't shoot up. I think that shoots up. Yeah, that's a million dollars. Would you bring out even that? that? No. Okay. It's against the law, Kate. For a million no, dollars. No, for a million dollars. No, uh, no. Wow, you're weird. All right, this one was totally silent just a minute ago, and now it's starting to go. That is awesome. That is so cool. This is called Jet Geyser. Oh, it's a better view from here. Oh, that is cool. That's a weird 
Oh, and now it's slowing down. That was it. Wonder how often that one goes off. Yeah. All right, so this is wicked cool. This is called a fumarole. And this happened from an earthquake in 1959 it happened. 53. And then 53 happened. And then this opened up and you can hear how loud that is. That is literally just steam coming out of the center of the earth. And um, gases. Yeah. All right, so this is fountain paint pot. This is wicked cool. This is a mud pot. And that is just, I guess, boiling mud. That is awesome. Oh yeah, the heat is being like sucked into the middle. So this is a hot spring right here. Look how pretty that is and clear and beautiful and big. I can big. feel the heat. Can you feel it? I wonder if it's stinky. Oh, maybe that's the sun. <laughs> it's still pretty hot. <laughs> Look it up, huh? <laughs> All right, now we're visiting the Old Faithful Inn, which is one of the huge park lodges built way a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know when, and don't look at me for trying to educate, but when I'm, Dad and I watched a PBS special years ago, probably when the kids were, maybe when Brennan was just born, and it was a special on the National Park Lodges. No, that's not Old Faithful, but the Old Faithful's over in the other one. Um, and ever since then, I've been mesmerized and have wanted to, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yay. I've always wanted to come to the National Park Lodges and the National Parks, and here we are. This is beautiful. Mike, look. Gorgeous, look at that clock, Ryan. Look at the clock. Awesome. Wow. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Are you sure that's your old vehicle? Because it looks like Get out there, get out there, go! Oh, oh, oh! Okay. <laughs> it's gonna blow! <laughs> hey Ryan, will you video? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna call Kate. I'm this is Old Faithful, and we might watch it erupt for the second time. There's a mini one over there called Split Cone, which it doesn't really well, it erupts, but it only erupts about one foot up in the air. It used to be a big geyser, but now it's just a little one. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Hey. Wow. Yo. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's really oh, cool. If you see the water only goes up so high, but the right. rest is like Then steam. the steam. This is the most reliable geyser of all the 14,000 that they have here at Yellowstone. And this is the second time we've seen it go off. We saw it go off a couple days ago, so if you want to take a look at that vlog. But this is so <laughs> cool. Yeah, can you imagine, like, you've never seen like a volcano erupt, but can you imagine that, all the water? Oh my gosh, being, being oh, that would be crazy. Or lava, technically, because it's out from under there. And yeah, going way happen. higher. No, but sometimes they don't, like, explode. Sometimes they just, like, dribble out. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Brendan is so hurt. Oh, wow. On the deck now of the lodge, we're overlooking Old Faithful. This is so cool. One day I'd like to stay here. Wouldn't that be fun, Daddy-o? Uh, absolutely. Maybe without those rascally kids. <laughs> Maybe just you and me. Perfect. Okay. And there's Ryan with a cowboy hat. What do you guys think? All right, Daddy-o, so we're leaving Yellowstone. Ah, so sad. We had an amazing time. Obviously tired the kids out. They don't want to leave, but we know we've got more adventure ahead. We're headed to Grand Teton, back down through now, back down south. And we're gonna go hopefully stay at a campsite right on the lake and do some um, hiking and the like. So this is our, this is the gate right here into Yellowstone and we're leaving. And I think, oh, then we have a little ways and then we go back into Teton. playing catch and Brendan accidentally I don't know how you accidentally throw your mitt on top of the RV so Ryan's trying to get up there I don't think that's gonna work oh I see it I need a boost hmm no I caught that yep I caught that I'm not too keen on you crawling on top of the RV please I'm just gonna grab his mitt Mike how do you think we should get his mitt down can I please go out there dad Jump! Come on, Mom, you heard the man. <laughs> I don't know if I can give you a boost. I'm not even tall enough. What? Get up here. I'm gonna get up there? Yeah. I don't think so. You got it? Wait, I'll go up there. Look what's happening here. 
Uh oh. Press the press the ball. It's in the mix. No. No. Uh uh. No. Just get down. Oh, get down. Nice try, buddy. It's coming down. Ah, uh, don't not at me. Oh. oh. Uh, Ready? Here. Oh. oh. Yeah, you guys, you like... can't leave. There's bears. You cannot leave food. I'm serious. Kate. A single blueberry. Hmm? Mike, how strict was she when we checked Pretty in? Pretty strict. Ready? Yeah, you gotta throw them far, farther. Pick them up. Pick them I like up. it. Look at this. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, already fallen off the top twice inside. Ryan is stuck on the top of the RV. Mom, can you, can you do this? I'm looking from here. <laughs> what? What? Can you do what you did last time? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, so you can land on me and pull me out? Yeah. Go, Mom, go. Okay. Oh, okay. We're doing this. I gotcha. Ooh. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Ow! Ooh! Yeah! The campground we're staying at has a cool beach. It's not really a sand beach, it's more of a rock beach, but that is a okay because look at this. It's a bit overcast, so it's hard to see everything, but look at those mountains. I feel like I'm in Switzerland. My goodness, those of you who might live in Switzerland or in the Alpine countries over there in Europe. Is this what it looks like? Because holy cow, this is just gorgeous. Tetons. Yes, Katie. <laughs> Our rock angels. Ouch. Hey, let's see your scar, your battle wounds from your from the obstacle course the other night. Oh, we were at the campground two nights ago and they did an obstacle course and Kate totally gave it her all. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on a hike. We're gonna hike right over there in those woods. When we get to the end, we'll get to see an even better view, I think, of Grand Teton. Then we're gonna do our um, sit-ups. Our sit-ups? All right, sit-ups. Right. Sounds good. All right, this could be the last time you see us. We're going on this hike, and we just passed a sign that's very seriously warning of bears. It says you have to have bear spray. We don't have bear spray. Katie's very nervous. She's walking along the water because she figures that the bear would less likely be on the water, and she could jump into the river, or jump into the lake. Ow. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so scared. Katie, so what's your reasoning on the whole tumble thing? So bears have short front legs and longer back legs. So like when they see another, they're like, no! Oh yeah, yeah, okay, that's so, a good bear. Yeah, thanks. Fine. Okay. Um, so if they try to go downhill, like they know that like it's too, like their front legs are too short, so they'll like tumble or they, oh. they won't make it down. Okay. So if you start to go downhill, then they won't follow you. So that's good. Katie's thinking it's good because this is an uphill and so bears can't come from this way. Now they could be over here, but the chances of them being in this little area, slim to none. You feeling a little better? No. Okay. This is not a joke. This is serious. <laughs> so they've told us if we make a lot of sound, the bears won't come near us. So Kate's interrupting our nice hike with lots of sound. <laughs> She started with her bird trill. Uh, oh, she's coming. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, we know. We're halfway through our hike, and our hike brought us to this awesome, ah, this awesome private stone beach. Boulder, Boulder Jenga. Right. By Hasbro. And the two <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Huh? Katie and Ryan have um, stacked stones. Looks great, Kate. Thanks. I feel like I need to do one in between this one and this one. Okay. But I need to find a good one. All right, good luck. All right, I'll be finding And Ryan and Brennan are skipping stones. Daddy was too. Did you win? No, we're, we're trying to hit a stick. Ryan won. Ryan won? Yeah. Yep. Somehow. Good job. I, I I hit it. I'm gonna lay down and take a nap like daddy does. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, man. Katie keeps throwing rocks at people. Katie, stop throwing rocks. Sorry. Dad, Dad. get up and start walking. You, Ryan, we should see keep enjoying water. your rock treatment. Ryan. Ryan, here. You have to Do you feel zen? I feel totally zen. I took a nice nap on the beach. That was awesome. And then a little hot stone treatment. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my, oh my gosh, whoops. Whoa, it's what it has. Oh, okay. There's Ryan's dinner drink. They just went and got refills. Ryan, why the why the um Starbucks around hey, the middle? You know how we got a hot Starbucks around it? Yes. It's not only for when it's hot, when it's cold too. <laughs> you don't want to put your head around a cold drink. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's terrible. A cold, wet drink. Oh, Brennan. Really, Brennan's having some troubles today. It's the gymnastics workout that put him over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have um, Katie do a water polo workout and see if it hurts her. No, I think that'd be fun. It, it would be fun. Make just hard. Right. You might not be able to do it. All right, we're out. We just had dinner and we are out. Stop with the ben and Jerry's I don't think we should. We're eating healthy, remember? Yeah, but then me and Brennan had an agreement that oh. I have to eat completely healthy except I can have once more. Oh. But since we're not having a fire tonight. <laughs> How do you know we're not? We're going to go look. Okay, well, yeah, we have to go look and see if they're going to allow us to have a fire. Mark, you right back here. <laughs> Grabbing something unhealthy. Sounds good. S'more or ice cream for you, Brennan? There's two turkey sandwiches today unhealthy. No. I'll be ice cream. All right. <laughs> see, wow, Brennan. The activity of the evening is going to be roasting s'mores. What do you have there? I'm going to sit up and try and roast my marshmallow. You're going to what? I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to sit up and try and roast my marshmallow. What are you going to do? Just chill back in my chair. Oh, and make a really long, they're yeah, trying to get out of here, buddy. I'm gonna have a chair, Brennan. I'm gonna have a chair. Huh, so Brennan just went and selected three of the longest sticks I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Ryan and Katie and I are whittling our right. s'more sticks. I chose this stick because I can sit back at the fire right there, no, and no. this one kind of goes over, under, and in. So like, That's if there's nice. a nice little nook in the fire, it goes over. It's yes, not, like, you right. Know, like that, right? You know, it's probably like this, over, and it goes under the flames and in the water. Fantastic. Perfect. He's my whittle whittler. And then Katie, Katie, get, would you have any uh, strategy on this stick? Uh, I, like I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. Mom, mom, I don't think you get it. I don't. How about you, Brennan? Rip it and rip it. Good, good boy. Whatever, whatever that rip means. It dip it. Rip it and dip it. Rip it and dip it. That's also turtles. That's what doesn't. Is that what um, no. Coochie Cooch says? No. Oh. Coochie Cooch. Who's Nemo? Um, Splash. Split, split, squirt, squirt, <laughs> squirt. Splash, splash, oh, split. all right, all right. Split, yep, split. Split the turtle. Are you gonna whittle? No, I might have whittled once or twice in my life. Are you going to whittle for today? Or are we gonna cook your s'mores for you? You're gonna cook my s'mores. I That's see. Yep, I see. Happen, Dad. All right. Well, Actually, this is some that. serious s'mores preparation. We got our box of firewood. We got some matches. Yeah, Dad, if you pay me 50 cents, I'm gonna do a, oh, what are you a stick of made? No, for 50 cents, I'll make you a s'more. For another 50, I'll whittle a stick for it. I'll whittle a stick and make it. That's a buck, right that's there. pretty good. I, can I pay you a buck? No, uh, no, $2. Oh. <laughs> Here we are, it's about, uh, it's almost go time, s'more time. Gosh, I hate this stick. Head out to the beach to uh, all this do it. S'more stuff, and I hate RV and my <laughs> sore legs. <laughs> Brian can barely walk. I'm not camping ever again. Brian can barely catch. Only cruises. I can barely catch. Are oh, you serious? Ouch. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna head over to the beach, and we're gonna start a fire because that's the only place we can because it's the only legal start. Uh, Fire on the beach, and but it's a rock beach, so it's gonna be super sick. Totally fun. Yeah, it's we're gonna, gonna be fun. Take pit. Do you like my new um attire? Excellent Spike cake. Check. DTW. Very and nice. Here we go. All right, okay. everybody, grab a quart of wood and. <laughs> exactly. Holy cow, we got a lot of stuff to bring. Yes, we do. I wish we had. We don't have like a. We could, we could put it all in my suitcase and roll my suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it kind of identifies us as, as newbies. rookie loser oh, okay. campers. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. We'll see you at the beach. This okay. Here we are at the beach. Katie and Ryan do an expert job. We they created the fireplace. Circle, dug it out a little with like the pit. Now we're putting kindling in. It's fantastic. I'm whittling a new stick because I lost my stick. I don't know what happened to my stick. <laughs> I took all that time to whittle it, and then we packed up, and I lost it. I have a feeling, Daddy. Crunched it it's a in the kindling. Wow, that hurts. Did that you? Really hurts did me. you, no, Daddy? Jill, do, would I do that? I hope not. That hurts me. And then there's Brennan. I don't get enough credit for the work this <laughs> There's the kindling, and there is the would-be <laughs> fire, and there is our awesome view of the Tetons. And what lake is this? Something Lake. Jackson Lake. Jackson Lake. And before you know it, we're gonna have a fire, the and the sun is gonna. Oh, there it goes. Look. There it goes. Here we right, go. Right. Fire. Still good light. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, they got the fire started. It is bootyful. I burned my name into a stone. 
That's pretty Maybe. cool. Nice. Just I like it. I just want to test it. I shall test it. Go. <laughs> it is a uh, contentious game of spit going on right now. No, poor my guy. All right, here we go. Okay, <laughs> and we're done. Bye. What? No, I did. No, I did put that on there. It was already on there. But this five gone on top. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. Hey, Brendan, no, no, no. Yeah, no, Brendan, you can't do that. What the heck? Nice. <laughs> put it down, put it down. No, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, wait, that. Done. What the heck? Nice. Like Good job, B. Like Ryan. That's my first second place finish. Nice job. Brendan's wearing Ryan's yeah. sweatshirt. All right, so let's just do a little tour of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, the 11 year old's pocket. Unload it. While camping. Unload it. Oh, excellent. So, okay. a pocket knife. Good. Another pocket knife. Four mints. And how did a rock get in there? Wow, You've been a, carrying oh, that? Oh, you have another. see the other pocket. Couple of mint wrappers. Oh my gosh. In case you guys didn't know, Ryan is a bit of a kleptomaniac when it comes to going to restaurants and stealing their mints. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five. He already ate and he's got four more. We literally went there about it. It's time to say goodnight. So before we go tonight, go oh, no. say goodnight. Let's share what made yeah. us yeah. happy. I'm actually like, pretty good at this. I'm just yeah. like, like up and it goes around. And it's I pretty good. Up. No, but it's better. Like All right, so let's think of all the things we did today. We woke up in Montana. We drove to Wyoming. We had a huge bear claw and a huge... Tasty. Yes. Um, what was the other thing called? Uh, cinnamon roll. Then we went to Yellowstone. We went on a, a fire hole tour. Hike. Exactly. And then we drove here to the Grand Tetons. And we went on a hike. And we played euchre. And we played cards. And we set up um, a fire. By the way, I'm really good at the game. Yeah, you are. In my head. Excellent. What made you happy today, my guy? Um, what made me happy today was waking up to the moving of the RV. I don't know why, it's, just, it's awesome. Fun when you wake up and we're already driving? Yeah. Cool. Um, and oh, seeing all the nice hot springs and seeing Old Faithful erupt again and there's the yeah, other one called here. Lion Geyser that also erupted when we were there. I don't think we got it on film. Oh, I did got a little bit of oh, it. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. So you guys saw that. Lion Geyser went off, which is really cool. All right. Good night, sweet dreams. I love you. She's like, she's like, oh, yeah. And seeing the lodge. That was really cool. The lodge. I know. That was awesome sauce. Yeah. Hey, Brennan, what made you happy today? Probably not the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, like Brennan didn't like our dinner. Not the meatball sub. Okay, you didn't like that either. <laughs> Not the hike. Oh my gosh. Actually, the Yo. hike was actually kind of cool. That hike was cool. It's just that your legs are sore. I'll be walking on the geyser sort of things. Yeah, that was cool. Seeing the oh, mud pots and the fumarole. Uh, uh, the fumarole. Yeah. The red spouty thing. Fumarole. And also, wait, did you get the rock bridge with me and Katie? Yes. The, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I did. Uh, yeah, I think we'll, I did. We, we'll be, we built a really cool kind of like box thing. Where in the like, water. Yeah, in the water. Okay. I, I don't know. Good night, James. I love you. Buenas noches, man. Canton, too. Oh, nice. Hey, Katie, what made you happy today? Huh? I could have said, like, the door is open, but. <laughs> and I would have been like, oh, it's in Spanish. Okay, how about you, Kate? What made you happy today? Oh, my gosh. Kate. Um. You have to let me finish my sentence. Uh, I know, but you knew it was At least I'm reading and not playing a game. Or something I know, like that, it's so. a good point. All right. um, our hike was pretty cool. The fire by the beach on the rocks was so awesome. Yeah, that was excellent. Cool. I've never been to a beach made of completely rocks before, so that, that was, was really cool. cool. Um, mm -hmm. I skipped a rock six times, which nice. is very... I think we got that on video. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I'm reading Harry Potter. So, come on, I'm just a minute, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.